Good afternoon, everyone. Damp conditions delay grain harvest. Finland, poor crop yield. Seed supply in jeopardy for next year. It's actually so wet that the heads are sprouting and the seeds are moldy. Lowest production of wine out of the EU since World War II. Again, a trend. Decline in 2015, decline in 2016, and this year, all-time record low since World War II. That is a trend. And looking over at Michigan earlier in the year, the farmers there are talking about more frost-tolerant types of tart cherries. And as food prices continue to rise, you might look at what nature is providing for free around your city, neighborhood, or home. And while you're watching, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030 and click the bell to get the latest updates. And the wet and cold losses just keep mounting up in Europe, definitely showing a trend. Let's jump up into northern Europe this time, Finland. This year's poor crop yield, putting next year's grain seed supply in jeopardy. They're worried about the wet conditions that they're not even going to have enough seed to replant next year. This is exactly what happened in these same regions in the wolf minimum. And you can start to see the repeating pattern. Not only is this year's grain harvest over a month late, it is so high humidity and so wet that the heads still standing in the fields are starting to sprout and it's full of mold. Incredibly low yields and poor grain quality. We're starting to see this globally. Even traders in Chicago are talking about the volume is there, but the quality is poor. It's nearly animal food. You're starting to see some low prices because they're trying to dump everything right now because it is such poor quality. But when you look into the wheat, that's for human consumption. There's a premium on that right now. Now back to Finland, this is the third consecutive year of declines. Now nobody's noticing this trend here. They're talking about this situation being catastrophic for many farms because nothing will be harvested at all and it won't ripen in time. So when I talked about yesterday's video, the third year of losses for wheat, barley, and potatoes across the UK, now we're seeing it in Finland. Let's look elsewhere in Europe. Can we see three-year declines in a row here? Extreme weather dragging European wine output to the lowest level since World War II. Frosty April. We saw damage across vegetables in Spain during the same time. Ice storms, unusual winds. Total wine production across the EU is down 14% from last year's levels, which was down from 2015, which was down again. The levels are so low that they're down at the lowest level since World War II. And nobody's saying, wow, there's a problem when we start to look at what are happening agriculturally across the planet. Oh no, it's the same as the Second World War 80 years ago. No problem. We'll just put our heads in the sand and pretend like nothing's happening. Extreme weather battered the top producers, Italy, France, Spain, and Germany. Where do you think they had the fruit walls? France, Maunder Minimum. And looking at the trend, Germany down 10% this year, Spain down 20%. But then let's look at the trend. Four leading producers also declined in 2015 and 2016. And now 2017. We're seeing the same three-year declining trend but somehow it's just escaping off the radar. Wall Street Journal global wine production. This is outside Europe. This is global production at a 50 year low because of bad weather in Europe. Well, wait a second. Australia has huge production. California has massive production and they're all trying to peg it because a loss in one region on the planet's dragging wine production down to 50 year lows. No, 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 no. Unacceptable. New Zealand's producing wine. How about South America? They're not giving you the true information why forecast production is going to fall 8.2% this year. They forgot to put in last year's losses and the year before that as well. Where they're starting at the marker this year to even drop from, it's already had two years of declines. Putting us global production in 1961. You got to go back to 61 and even see which places were producing or marketing wine at the time. Now jumping over to Michigan Terry Chart Orchard, this is really interesting because a 50 year trend happening there too, really wet, cold, and the farmers are even calling for more frost tolerant orchard varieties. 
And right now, the wet autumn is delaying the Minnesota harvest. Not only did they have massive record snows in Montana, but this wet autumn is testing farmers, delaying harvest, and molding up the fields there as well. But again, talking about the solutions to the problem. Grand solar minimums here, we need to start thinking about how we're going to mitigate these losses because next year it's going to be amplified again. We're going to go into the fourth year of losses. And it's just going to continue through 23, 24, 25. And it'll be what, the seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth year in a row of losses? At that point, it's down to zero production and we're just in a regional area again. Food harvesting, wild lunch. You really need to start thinking this direction. What's around you locally, around your city, around your neighborhood, around local areas where you can get to? Natural foraging. There is an enormous amount of plants out there that have high vitamin, mineral, and nutrition content. What do you think? The Native American Indians had supermarkets? No, they lived off of nature, which was provided sustenance, incredibly nutritious without preservatives. You need to start looking this direction here. This is a great video to start with. You can branch off. There's some links in there and move off and really see, can you forage a little bit to get at least get a vegetable crop to cook along with one of your dinners? Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. The losses are happening, but the news just isn't putting it together as a trend. They're just reporting it as if it's a one-off year type of event, which is a disservice to you and I.